Hey, this is Lula, and this is the series where we look at the most expensive house for sale in each state. We are in Michigan today, home of, uh, I guess, monumental snowstorms and Detroit, and uh, that's 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 about it. That's that's all I got for you. Um, I skipped past a couple of commercial, you know, camp type properties. Uh, and I'm and, and so happy because it brought us to this absolute monstrosity. This is an $11,500,000 seven bath household, indeterminate baths. And this is the ugliest piece of shit I have ever seen in my life. What is this roof line? How many different types of roofs do we have? We got like I'm I'm digging into the the parts of my brains that were dedicated to the Sims. I think this is a mansard. Uh, I think this is just the regular gable roof, but this has like a line of that fancy stuff on top for no reason. Uh, we got spires on some tips and not others. We got round shit and or octagonal shit, and we've got. Uh, one gable that's poking out, one gable that's inset with a balcony. This is absolute chaos. This was an architect who started designing a house and then their client kept giving them opinions. Why are there two different types of well, you know, brick? There's white brick and there's red brick. And and there's two different roof patterns. And, and two different types of chimney here at two different heights. This is chaos oh my god this is like we we might not have many architects on on uh, the audience but if if you've ever worked in like graphic design say or, or some other customer facing you know imagine you work at the subway at the subway and and someone's like oh i'll just take this like stock sandwich off the menu and they're like oh but instead of like lettuce I would like an equal amount of olives. And you're like, excuse me, an equal amount of olives that I would put lettuce? And they're like, yes. And in fact, instead of instead of ranch dressing, let's do ketchup. And they just keep making these little changes until everything is just unrecognizably horrific. That's what happened to this house. Let's take a look. Here it is from above and you can see, oh, there's even more. These these two entrances are totally different vibes. This is like a church for some reason. This is standard McMansion. We've got two different garages on different ends of the house. This one's got a breezeway through. These roofs, this roof is enormous. What is all this space up here being used for? There's like one room with the most claustrophobic and uncomfortable roof line. Okay, you know, it's not that hard to maintain greenery. In Michigan, it's not. So why is there just a sea of rocks here? What is that about? It's it's just a... It's like there's a quarry in front of the house. And we got the big boulders and the gravel. That's... And there's there's a bridge that goes over it. What is the, pur what is the purpose of that? Here's the bridge over the incomprehensible rocks it's not a river it's it's just rocks here's a a little lookout point where you can look out over the sea of rocks what is this archway here what purpose does that serve it's it's literally only holding up itself and then it's just slapped on the front of this wall like a facade, but it only goes up this high. It doesn't match anything. And of course, there's lions out front. This is truly atrocious. This is... Uh, that That's like an Art Deco style archway. And there's nothing Art Deco about literally anything else on this house. Oh, holy shit. All right, we are inside. And this door is... So much. I mean, the, the woodwork is intense. The The leaded glass is beautiful. Look at that glasswork there. And then the walls are landlord white. What was the decision-making process here? You know, I don't think they needed to be, like, boldly colorful, but something other than this. And what is going on with the ceiling up here? It looks like this is all, like, ornate details that have just been 
landlorded over. Giant chalices? We've got a foyer table with... There might be a, a light fixture up here. And we've got the foyer table with shit upon it. Uh, this is intense. This house is going to be so much. Um, that's That window is pretty intense. But yeah, you can't even tell what any of these details up here are. Because they're all white. For context of the kind of rich people that live in Michigan, uh, Betsy DeVos lives in Michigan in, in just about as horrible a house as you would expect her to live in. This very stern office with woodwork on all of the walls. I, I like that they did the ceiling in green. Like the woodwork is so, so much. It's, I mean, the floor here is, that's a beautiful floor. And the woodwork is all very well done. It's just, it's a lot. It's intense. So I like that they went with a colorful ceiling. The insets in the ceiling are also intense. This, this light fixture is quite a lot. Uh, we don't have very many books on these shelves. Because, uh, you know, you don't have to be much of a thinker to be wealthy uh, in this country. Oh, this is the other direction. This is from coming from the front door. So you're looking through the seat of the sea of white um, and past the foyer table to this archway, which looks like it is floating in space because everything around it is so, so white. Uh, this hallway leads to certain doom and this portal leads to a room with the fake sky painted ceiling uh we've gone over this before but i'll remind you it doesn't look good the fake sky ceiling it's tacky it doesn't look good especially look it's so small it's just this sea of god this this if it wasn't for the the like woodwork accents this this would be like one of those mormon cult initiation amphitheaters and and then this Itty bitty piece of fake sky in the middle. That's why is this giant stone? This giant stone fireplace matches nothing else in here. That's like some quasi Egyptian pyramid style, and then you've got the ornate woodwork next to it that that does not go together. It doesn't. Uh, we got a very ornate grand piano over here with a ostentatious over-the-top chandelier hanging over it. This might be a camera angle, but it does seem that there is just a sea of open floor space around here. You know, we talk about the, they didn't fall into the trap of doing trying to cram two seating areas in here to fill up this mass of floor space, but it's the room is still too large. It's just too large. You don't need this much floor space. It's not being used for anything except this weird conglomeration of vases. Oh, look, there's another vase. How many, how many vases do you think are in this house? I think we're I think we're gonna end up in the low hundreds. That's my prediction. Um, do you think they ever put flowers in them? Absolutely not. Never, never. Those aren't flower vases. Those are those are wealth status symbol vases that's their purpose here's this area with the grand that is some fantastic woodwork like that's ornate hand carved intense shit right there neoclassical pedestals just to show that we're really leaning into the the racist head measuring colonial past of of the modern American aristocracy. Uh, we've got, oh, we've got the Clodagh Irish hands around the the heart up here. Um, do you think the people that live here are actually Irish? I mean, they, they might be, but I suspect uh, these these people are, are, if not biologically, then spiritually direct descendants of, of the same colonial overlords that beheaded the Irish by by just the the village full uh, that would be my guess and again just so much white you can't even tell where the walls curve 
This this archway looks like it's just floating in space. The the ceiling is weird. It's got can lights in it. How do they have all of this beautiful ornate detail and, and insanely expensive? This is you know, this isn't the most expensive house we've seen, but from the interior, we could see that that's probably just an effect of it being, you know, in fucking Michigan. If this house was in California, this would be hundreds of millions of dollars. And and yet, they've got the goddamn can lights. Ah, uh, here we've got the Egyptian fireplace that doesn't fucking match anything. This goes through to a dining room. I'm curious to see what this dark little shrine over here is. It is... It looks like it's supposed to be a bar area, like, based on these, like, decanters over here. Oh, there's a... There's an auxiliary sky dome in there. Just in case the teeny tiny sky in this bit of ceiling wasn't enough for you, you just get a little taste over here. Got a very intense painting and, and ornate furniture it does it looks like a shrine it's a shrine to alcohol that's what it is here's the dining room we've got can lights again framing these beautiful ceiling details and then fucking can lights Ugh. we got more vases jesus those are enormous Th those are like urns do you think grandma's in there I, I bet there's a dead relative in every, every urn in this house. Now we are going into the kitchen, which is open to this seating area over here. I'm guessing that's a breakfast nook in that sunny corner over there, just, just contextually. Uh, big rooster. All right, that's, I guess, kitchen themed. I don't think, I don't think the wealthy have a, a real solid uh, concept of how food is is created or or comes to be on their plates uh we've got an enormous island we don't have a sandbar but we do have an enormous island and we got some some chairs over here it looks like we got double sinks uh just because it's a huge kitchen i guess uh we don't see the fridge yet unless that's it that might be a hidden fridge there but let's let's wait and find out Oh, we're going to take another look at this fireplace. Oh, look at all of these bookshelves and not a single book. We hate edu- we've burned the books. The books were subversive. We hate to educate ourselves. We hate to better ourselves. We just want little pottery barn wicker spheres. That's all we need. And a TV next to your, next to your sitting area so you can keep up on the stonks. Up, oh, yep, there is the the most stilted, well, we've seen more stilted breakfast nooks, but that's up there. I get like that I, I like that they've got these these glass details. This ceiling work is really really spectacular. Yeah, this this whole this whole dining set is is straight out of the pottery barn catalog including all of these uh, uh, anonymous purposeless little canisters here we've got a view on the kitchen and let's see if we can find a better can i i pretty darn sure that is the refrigerator and it's just hidden unless it's that one of these two things has to be the fridge in either case it's hidden because you can't let them know you eat you gotta keep that shit locked down because as soon as as soon as they know that you're a human being they start to get ideas uh, this piece of furniture doesn't match. I don't know why that's just tacked on the end there. Um, this mural over the stove, is that a painting of this house? I think it might be. This has to be the most well-hidden fridge I've, I've ever seen, though, because literally I still don't know which of these two things it is. I'm, I'm leaning toward this one now, but I literally don't know. All right, we got some, oh, we got a built-in spice rack next to the oven. That's actually very nice. The brickwork around the stove is, is very, I like that detail. I think it breaks up uh, the, the patterns of the rest of the room nicely with the dark woodwork and white walls. 
um, add some depth to it. Oh, we've got a long, ominous hallway. Ugh. This is... You, you walk down this hallway and you understand how the guy from Get Out feels. No matter who you are, no matter what color, as long as you are a member of the proletariat, you understand his, his experience as you walk down this hallway. Oh, damn. All right, they're giving us all these wood details. That is spectacular. I'll give them that. Here we've got a little sitting room. Giant inset, uh, is that glasswork baby over the fireplace? Uh, ag again, we've got beautiful glasswork over the windows. Um, looks like some interesting ceiling details up here. As a couch table, it's a little wide right here. That's, you know, a couch table supposed to be long and skinny. That's not what that is. We got some little dudes hanging off this fireplace. Is this a second fireplace or is this another piece of furniture? Because that is, I think this has to be another piece of furniture with the dudes hanging off it. Oh, we got more of those floor details around this little sitting area here. Oh, there's a dude in there. That's a very, that, that looks like Geralt of Rivia. That's in his, in his artistic phase. We got, so there was a rug for this room and they just rolled it up and left it there for pictures. I mean, I guess a rug is a pain to move, but you know, you're having professional pictures taken. You are richer than God. You could have had that moved. A very white hallway. I, again, they've got all of these little woodwork details here. But yeah, the, the purpose of a chair rail of, of wainscoting like this is that you can break up the color of the wall. You could have had a dark wood here, just left that natural and had the wallpaper here and here and, and had a balance of color. But you've made, you've landlorded it. You've made everything the same. Like, yes, there is a, a pattern in the wall, but it's all white, so you can't really see it. Here's a bedroom that is absolutely enormous and what the fuck is happening over the fireplace here that's so much that is that is just way too intense of a thing to have in a bedroom especially a bedroom that has this intense fucking bed what is that that's like a boat and these i would be concerned that one of these would just timber over on me in the night you've got a couch for spectator seating over here. It looks like this goes through to an auxiliary sitting room because this room wasn't big enough for you. This is where uh, your backup lay waits for, for their turn. This is such an awkward room. Do you think anyone ever uses this? I mean, look at the furniture they've chosen for it. This tells me that they literally didn't know what to do with this space. We've got uh, two comfy seats. A, a dining chair, a piece of cabinet, like that's, that's literally just a cabinet, and then this end table. No one has ever used this room, ever. Oh, here is the fireplace. Jesus, that is far too much. I don't need, is this Jesus? Is that Jesus on either side of the fireplace? That's too much for me. Here's the master bath. We've got, what is, what is with this marble, this green marble? We've seen this in multiple rich people homes now, and it just, it looks like it's, I, I still don't know what era it's invoking, but it's not the modern day. They had to specifically order a rug in this shape because that's not a normal shape. It looks like that entire room is the shower. Oh, here's a, a dressing room. It looks like we've got an, a, a whole house intercom built into the house. A lot of, a lot of mansions I've, I'm noticing have like these intercom systems that were built into the house, probably pre-cell phone, uh, when, when that was the easiest way to actually figure out where the fuck in your over large house people were. But now you've got an intercom system that's completely irrelevant built into your house. Is this a second master bath? Are there two 
master bathrooms so that you don't have to share space with your spouse that you hate. That's fantastic. And they both have this awkward shape, this this long octagon. I like this altar over the bathtub. You know, you can sacrifice some uh, some small rodents in here before you go down for your bath. And here's the uh, the changing room. This is the the hers dressing room, I assume, which is almost completely empty, except they left this little naked lady picture up top. They forgot her. This looks like a, yep, this is the laundry room. Got a big farmhouse sink next to it. It's storage. Okay. Laundry? Laundry does not require this many supplies that you need this many cabinets for it. Like, like maybe this could be a linen closet, you know, backup sheets or something, but I don't think any, th this is an excessive amount of cabinets. We got a staircase, a very grand looking staircase up with a tapestry on the wall because it's medieval times. Oh, that is one hell of a tapestry. Knowing this is in a McMansion in Michigan just makes all of this comedic because it's trying so hard to be like some some neo-gothic architectural whatever but it's it's literally it's literally a mcmansion from michigan hold on let me go check when this house was built this house was built in 2005 what are you doing why is there an intercom system cell phones already existed what this that I'm going to start I'm going to start checking that from now on because that has just elevated the comedy of all of this exponentially 2005 Oh my god Fallout Boy was around when they built this house All right we got some interesting insets in the floor we got a chandelier You know what this is this is the problem with these overly intricate overly opulent homes you, you use the chandelier too many times and it just loses its it loses its wow factor i don't give a fuck about this chandelier why is there a chicken on the wall why is that why is this inset what's the point of that who decided that that needed to be just a little dent in the wall another bedroom this bedroom is entirely white there's not a color to be seen. We've got spectator seating and an enormous bed. The fact that this was built in 2005 and there's not hardwood floor in the bedrooms is is baffling to me because that was already, hardwood floor had already come back. Like carpets were already out in 2005. Why, why is this carpet here? Another bedroom, this one's too dark. Well, this no, it's not even too dark, it's too busy. Why? You got patterns on the wallpaper. You got patterns on the carpet. What the fuck is this bedspread? That's too much. Is that like, pol is that polyester? And and then this, this weird, I, I can hear those pillows. I can hear the sound that they make when you rub your hand over them real fast. It's like, you know what I mean? This, it's it's like the wallpaper and the carpet are are like negatives of each other. I hate those pillows. I, they, oh my god, they've got the same fabric on the on the canopy of the bed. That's atrocious. Is this wallpaper like iridescent or something? What is this? Maybe that's just a blur effect. I don't I don't like I mean, is it velvet? Do they have velvet wallpaper? I'm gonna throw up. Another bedroom, another enormous ceiling. Uh this one's got Two chairs so that you can watch. I'm sure there's a TV here to just destroy your circadian rhythm. There's a desk here because this is a and, a, and oh, and a little and a breakfast table so you can truly avoid your entire family. You just have the servants bring your bring your meals up here. We got portholes so you can pretend you're on a boat, and we got a hotel carpet. This is you're just pretending you're in a hotel. Do you think? Do you think the person that lives here sometimes just like misses being on business trips and they'll just go to this room and pretend that they're at like the Hilton 
in Lake Tahoe. What is that bedspread? I can hear it. I can hear the fabric. Oh, God. This is my my dad had a bedspread that material in the 90s. And, and you'd try to jump on the bed and you just whoop, you just slip right off. You could get like a running start and it would just you just careen across and go right into the wall. This is this is material is the secret to perpetual motion because it's anti friction. It's the opposite of friction. It actually makes you go faster. The the wallpaper is way too busy to be on every single wall. This carpet is so ugly. God, I mean, the headboard is, is nice, but everything else in this room is a miss. I don't even like the ceiling. I've liked the ceilings in this house other than the can lights. Oh, and the, and the sky. I have not, I have not consistently liked the ceilings in this house. Uh, the bedrooms have not been a problem for me, but this is a problem for me. This looks like it's going for some sort of farmhouse look. Um, I don't think you're fooling anyone into, into thinking that they're in a farmhouse, buddy. Another another breakfast table. It's it's another hotel. Oh my god, look at these little pictures that they like crammed into the the tiny holes of the wainscoting. This this curtain with this valence is much too much. Oh, they crammed another tiny picture in there. And it's not even it's not even the right shape. These are rectangular and this is a little square. That doesn't fit. Uh, that sink is ugly. What is that? It's got the the exposed bars. No. All right, we got a a weird cavern of a shower so that you feel like you're stepping into a cave. This is either the shittiest hotel room in the house. I mean, the woodwork on the beds is beautiful. All right, let's get that out of the way right away. Woodwork on the beds is beautiful, but having the it's a double twin room. I don't think hotels even offer double twins anymore, like a motel might, uh, not a hotel. So either it's the shittiest motel room in the house or it's a kid's room and you've put children in this space. In which case, yikes, have you ever met a child? Look at this. This is hostile. Oh my God. Some very fine art to look at while you're taking a shit. All right, we got a back staircase. This might be like a servant's entrance or something like that. Yeah, I'm guessing. And we got stair. This is a complex stair situation. This is some MC Escher shit. It's you come down and you go up and you go down again. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Not for me. And we're up in some sort of attic, I'm guessing. Why? Why is there a haunted baby doll in a stroller? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't want that to be happening. Why do these chairs almost match each other, but they don't quite? Uh, we got one brick wall and a bunch of wood walls and then some plaster walls. Uh, this Is this a kitchen? Are these servants' quarters? I'm confused. Why do the servants have the haunted baby doll? Is she there to, to punish them if they don't serve to, to her master's liking? We got an elevator. That's very accessible of them. All right. We love accessibility. We've got some intense stained glass. All right. That's that's just all out right there. Does this look like it's supposed to be? I think that's a secret passageway there. Yeah, you can see the lines. That's a secret passageway. That's where they keep the bodies is back there. Oh, we got an in-home movie theater, of course. We have an in-home movie theater, and it is so extra. This this looks like an old-school movie house. I remind you, this house was built in 2005. All of this is a farce. None of this is historical. This is this is just rich people theater, uh, literally, in this case. Uh, we got the gigantic teddy bear. Um... I could say something obscene about that. I'm going to refrain. I like the glass detail. The clowns are unnecessary. These clown faces there can go to hell. Of course, we have the little fake concession stand because we are corny ass bitches and we suck. Ugh. And we got a billiards table. 
Obligatory billiards table. If your mansion doesn't have a billiards table, are you really rich? I don't think so. I don't know what's the deal with the seating area here. We've got like a little bar top. We got some high tops facing the TV, but behind the couch, can, can you imagine you're like sitting on this couch trying to watch TV and there's someone like eating right behind your head? We've got another, is this the third kitchen in this house? I've lost track of what's going on with the kitchens in this house, but I believe this is number three. We've got a landline. Um, between the landline and the intercom, my dudes, my dudes, it is, it is way too far into the 21st century for that nonsense. We've got an indoor pool with a fake sky. You know what? Actually, I'm going to say this might be, this might be the only acceptable application of the fake sky. Cause when you're doing the backstroke, I think that might be soothing. Um, but cons in, in the context of having it throughout the house, uh, this is just a continuation of an egregious mistake. Oh God, we've got a mural on the wall. Oh Lord. Why is there, is, is this an actual fake fence or is that a painted fake fence? I don't know how I feel about that. I don't think I like that. Especially, no, in combination with the fake sky and the fake mural and, and, and like this weird rock formation fountain thing here like all of this is like pretending to be outside do you do you know how you can get the real outside experience it's right out these fucking windows oh we got a hot tub we got more fake sky with fake gazebo and fake glass that's so tacky you could have just put it you could have put a glass roof on it you could have put a, you've got so much money and and you were already driving this architect to insanity what was one more insane roof pattern to add to the collection the, okay we've got the intense brickwork in this bathroom oh my all right so this is the machine room for the house this i mentioned this i think in in the illinois house that these houses are so gigantic and they they just use so many resources and so much energy you need entire dedicated rooms just to keep them running as if it's a public building uh, you know you, you see like city buildings and, and and office buildings that have these kind of machine rooms in them and even they are not always this intense uh, you've got this set up so that you can have hot water to all of those showers in the house and, and the people living here never have to worry about running out of hot water. Uh, you've got intense filtration systems. You know, some of these tanks over here, I think are part of a water filtration system. Uh, if, if you remember a little, a little town called Flint, Michigan had some, some issues with their water. Well, the wealthy don't need to worry about that because they've got these top of the line filtration systems. So, you know, the, the public water systems can go to hell because they're going to get theirs. And all of this, it's, you know, when we talk about how expensive it is to heat rooms with those gigantic lofted ceilings, this is all taken care of it. They don't ever have to worry about being too hot or too cold. It all just gets taken care of for them. Uh, this is a, the electrical box. You know, the little fuse box on your wall that looks like this. Uh, they've got this as a bonus. All right, we're back outside. We can see there's like this step down little walkway. I think that goes down to the garage. No, that's a third garage? Is that a third garage? I don't know where we are anymore. It goes past. So this is like maybe a guard house or something. Here's the view from the inside. Those look comfy. Looks like we've got a formal garden in here. Alice in Wonderland style. Um, hedges and fountains and all that shit. It's, you know, wrapped up for the winter, it looks like. Yep, everything's wrapped up for the winter. We got a big-ass fountain in here. You know what? I've complained about underwhelming fountains. This fountain, this this passes muster for, for this much money. Oh, Oh, hold on. This terrain is strange to me. So we've got grass up here, but it looks like we've got something that goes underneath the grass here. Is that like a 
bunker? Is that a potato? There's a door. There's a door that goes down there. There might be like a, a fallout shelter or something hiding under the lawn. That's some... I'm telling you, these these people do not give a shit how bad the world gets because they've got it covered. They're going to hide under this stretch of lawn here. They'll be fine. The rest of us can get nuked to hell and back. Yeah, here's their guard tower. That's where the black water washouts uh, is... They, they they sit in these windows up here with sniper rifles and, and snipe off the, the 99% when it tries to approach. Oh, we got a tennis court. Of course we've got a tennis court. And it looks like this is probably a staff house. This house probably has, has a full domestic staff. So, you know, the butler, the nanny, the, the cleaning crew, the cook. You know, whoever they want to have live there. It looks like there's a barn down here so that they might have horses or something. And there it is in winter because this is Michigan and this is what it looks like approximately 11 months out of the year. we got a lot of outbuildings here. Yeah, this is, this is that staff house. This is another garage. And there it is in the snow again. And of course, we've got the, the gates to keep the riffraff out. All right, that's that's Michigan. And you know what? From, from the state that, uh, that Betsy DeVos chose as home and uh, the, the state that fucked Flint and Detroit and has the, the Ford Mansion right outside of uh, the, the Dodge Mansion, and the Ford Mansion right outside of Detroit, which is imploding. This is, yeah, this is everything I would expect. I mean, this is the the tacky, nouveau riche, uh, bullshit aristocracy, one percenters, uh, no taste, all, all harassment of the architect. An architect is now institutionalized for life having worked on this house. That's I the only truth that I will accept. Uh, because if they felt satisfied with themselves after this, I, I cannot I cannot handle that thought. And uh yeah. God bless Michigan. Well, if you're from Michigan and this has also been your experience with the state, if you noticed anything I missed, if there's anything you want me to comment on in future videos uh, just let me know. Otherwise, uh, like, subscribe, and have a good one.